Dear brothers and sisters, peace be with you. Today, December 4th, 2020, Friday of the first week of the Advent season. Today's Gospel is from Matthew chapter 9, verses 27 to 31. Let me read the Gospel. As Jesus passed from there, two blind men followed him, crying out, Son of David, have pity on us. When he entered the house, the blind men approached him, and Jesus said to them, Do you believe that I can do this? Yes, Lord, they said to him. Then he touched their eyes and said, Let it be done for you according to your faith. And their eyes were opened. Jesus warned them sternly, See that no one knows about this. But they went out and spread word of him through all the land. The Gospel of the Lord Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Dear brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ, Today we see the encounter of Jesus with two blind men. They met Jesus in a public place, and they cried aloud, Son of David, have pity on us. Calling Jesus Son of David is similar to accepting him as the King of Israel. They might have some hearsay about Jesus' actions and miracles, but they never see him. But in the heart of heart, they have a little faith that pushed them forward to ask Jesus what they want. They want their sight back. Even though they found Jesus in a public place, Jesus chose a personal encounter with them. He questioned their faith, and they professed it. They said, Yes to the Lord, and their faith turned to be a miracle. A touch of Jesus changed their lives, and they entered into the world of light. Jesus warned them not to make him public, but they cannot stop sharing it because it was good news, and good news cannot keep for oneself. They spread the word of him through all that land. So many things can cause times of darkness in our lives. Our lives fall into darkness with the death of our beloved ones, or a severe illness of our relatives or oneself, or the loss of a job, or the end of a marriage or relationship, or when our children break our hearts. It leaps out of the shadows when crime, alcohol and other drugs invade our lives. It descends like a black cloud when we are innocent and accused of wrongdoing. It blocks out the sun when we are abused, betrayed, cheated or violated. At such times we grope our way in what seems a perpetual night of confusion and gloom. We will be filled with anger, shame or guilt and cannot see, hear or speak and end up in a situation where we lost our joy. We wish someone comes and redeem us from those moments of agony and deep within our hearts there will be a cry, have pity on us. There is only one man can answer to our plea, the incarnate Jesus. He knows our human weakness. He knows how tiresome are we. He asks only one question, Do you believe that I can redeem you from these problems? With the leap of faith, we must be able to say yes to Jesus. Christianity spread all over the world with the sharing of the gospel. Once we receive our redemption, we cannot stop speaking about him. The good news that we received, the light from Jesus, will help many others who are living in darkness to find him. Let the kingdom of the son of David come. Maranatha, come Lord Jesus. May God bless you all.